All right, what's going on, believers? Guys, we're going to ask a very simple question today. I told you I wasn't going to cover this, but we really need to right now. Terra Luna Classic, can it reach a dollar? It's not financial advice, but I'm always right, and I have the math for that. Trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing, bada, bing, ching, ching, big profit. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a couple of simple steps here, and we're going to go with this. Right now, Terra Classic is on the run right now. It is trading at three zeros, 1,618 right now. Again, up 33% on the day. Another big run. Uh, it continues to have big moment after big moment. Now, here's the important part. The market cap is now at $1 billion. So the question is, how far can it go? Where can it go? Can it really get there? We're going to ask that question. We're going to answer that question to the best of our ability, but we're going to have to look at a few quick things in the meantime. I hope you guys will indulge me for just a moment here. And this is one of the important things. Number one, uh, this is the tax slash burn of 1.2% on all transactions. So we're looking at a volume of trading during the course of the day, and we're trying to come up with a mechanism. So 1.2% of all trades are being burned. So uh, that's the number that we have to work with, okay? With the this mechanism, by the way, we are looking here. This mechanism, uh, we're going to highlight this for you so you can read it right there. This mechanism should be true until the total supply equals 10 billion Luna Classic. Perfect. So now we have a number. We have a goal. We know where it is that we need to go. Uh, this is proposal number 3568. Now, this was approved. 19 days ago, now 20 days ago, still has not been implemented, will be implemented in the next 24 hours. So we have a start now. What about this next one? Distribute 50% transaction fees to the community pool plus increase proposal validator rewards. This also passed. This says distribute 50% of transaction fees to the community pool, 35% to be burned via monthly community pool protocols, 10% airdrop to ecosystem dev. Now, this is a small amount. This is not a significant amount, but it is an amount. So there's going to be an additional burn, but we're, we're leaving this one to the side right now because we need a lot of days in order to make this thing happen. So uh, keep this in mind, though. And then the last piece of this puzzle is re-enable staking delegation to existing active validators set only. So uh, it also passed. You can see here it passed seven days ago. Uh, the ability to create new validators uh, will remain disabled until block height. So there's 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 some um, there's some things here to slow it down. But what they want to do is re-enable staking and delegations on Terra Classic exclusively to the current active validator set for a period of 90 days. So that means at least we're going to be back to where we can start staking again. There's going to be active validators, which most of us were not yet. Uh, by the way, full disclosure, my wallet is right here. I have 10 million roughly uh, Luna tokens. So that's why we're talking about it again uh, at a current value of 1591 US dollars. So that's why we're kind of looking at it. That's why I'm kind of having this curiosity in it. So then I said, you know, let's do the math. What will it take? And then I came up with this. Now I know it's a little bit rudimentary and you're probably looking at it like, Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you? But indulge me, if you will, as we go through this process. So the current value when we were doing this is right here. It was 1578. You could see back over here, it moved a little bit. It was up to 1618. But again, keep indulging me here with a market cap of $1 billion. Now, that gives us a supply at this point of 6.5 trillion. And we're trying to get this down to 10 billion. Here's the target supply right here. Okay. So um, in order to achieve that, we're going to take the market cap of uh, 1 billion and the supply of 10 billion. We're going to do the math on that. And that comes out to about 10 cents. So we do have a goal right now. If we can reduce the target supply from where it is right now down to um, on here, um, if we can reduce it down to um, if we can reduce the target supply down to 10 billion, then we're gonna have a market cap of 1 billion divided by 10, uh, 1 billion divided by 10, but it's basically gonna be 10 cents, right? So we now have an idea here that this right here, this number, uh, if we can get this to happen, becomes 10 cents. Now, at the current price, here's the problem, okay? The current price uh, with a with a market cap of a billion and at this price level right here, 
This is our current number if we had a target supply of 10 billion at the current prices. So uh, what we have to do is we're gonna have to burn a lot of the supply to make this happen. So uh, to get this number up here, here's what we have to do. First, there's gonna be 1.2 billion. Uh, you can look over here and we can see right here uh, on this page right here for volume, we're trading 1.26, 1.2 billion dollars per day right now. So let's put a pen in that. Let's come back over here, and we're trading at a volume of about 1.2 billion dollars per day. Now, if we get this implemented at 1.2 percent, that means that we are going to pick up 189,713 dollars per day in order to buy tokens. Now, at this price of 0 0.000578, then the price and the amount that we would get per day is $1.2 billion in tokens per day. That's what we'd be able to buy. Now, mind you, the more active we are, the less the supply, the more that's going to go up, the longer this is going to take. Uh, so the total days at $1 billion volume to get us to $0.10 cents right now, 5,453 days, which is 14.94 years. All is not lost, however, because in the buying and the selling, the average tax is not 1.2% because it's an in and it's an out tax. So everybody's getting taxed 1.2 in, 1.2 out. That stands the reason that the actual tax on this thing is going to be 2.4%. So that cuts the amount of time down to 2,726 days or seven years. Still, an, still an, a massive amount of time. Here's where it gets interesting. We're talking about this right now, going back up here. We're going to remove that. We're going to focus on this number right here with a $1 billion market cap. Now, what if we 20 x that market cap and made it a $20 billion market cap. So if we can, number one, continue to build the market cap and get it back to $20 billion, then that basically would speed up the math. And I know this is complicated, but it would speed up the math by a factor of 20 because the market cap would be twice as high and it would lead to a little bit more of an effective burn rate. And that would reduce the amount of time to get to $10 billion supply to 272 days and that is less than a year. Now, there's variables involved. There's going to be slow days. There's going to be big days. Uh, remember, we're in a bear market. So it is possible, entirely possible, that there are far more significant burns coming over the next bunch of days and a few more ideas that are going to be implemented in order to speed up this burn process. So can we get to 10 cents? You bet your ass we can. Can we get to $1? You bet your ass we can. Uh, this is the start of something special. Now, it's going to take everybody. It's going to take a lot of people working together to make this thing happen because it does not happen without a lot of people being involved. Guys, this is the moment. This is the point where somebody like me with 10 million tokens, uh, how can I change my life? Well, um, I can help in whichever way I am needed in order to do this. And right now it's just spreading the word and letting you guys know that guess what? <laughs> it's a long way off. Maybe it's not as long as we think though, but we are at a spot where if we can get some support for Terra Luna Classic, if we can get some people working on this thing, then it is entirely possible. We get this thing to a penny. We get this thing to 10 cents. We get this thing to a dollar. And then everybody, everybody who was here, remember, we're not talking about the old guys that were in here a long time ago. We can't fix them. We can try. We can do our best. What we can do is we can help the people who helped to shore this up at the bottom. Those of us like me that tried to come in at the end, buy up the dip as hard as we could and see where it took us. And based on these numbers, based on this math, it's a little flawed, by the way. It's very rudimentary. It's very simple. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. But guess what? When you look at this math, when you start to do it, you start to put the pen to paper, you start to figure it out, then guess what? There is a significant burn about to happen. There is significant interest in Luna Classic 
pumping. There are a lot of people betting on this to try to fix a lot of people's lives that were broken by Do Kwan. Guys, I hope we're all here for this ride because this one's going to be incredible. This is not financial advice. My name is Bleaves, and I am always right. So good luck, guys. I'm looking for the good life, good life.